for the sake of anybody who's not here who wants to make sure they didn't miss anything. Um, all that we're really working on the, on in lab today is sort of getting the hang of some of the technology stuff. Um, the lobster simulations are a little bit odd. Um, they're not my favorite, but I think that they're better than just watching me do a video of something um, because they require you to be a little bit active at least. So your for this week, we're going to try and get through the lab safety um, lobster simulation, which is basically a lot of, of uh, common sense stuff along the lines of, um, you know, don't, uh, don't set your hair on fire, don't drink anything in lab, those kind of rules. Um, but it'll get you familiar with how lab, the labster simulations work. Um, and so if you, the, the two things that we're doing for lab this week are one, finishing the labster simulation, when you finish it, it'll automatically upload your score to Gradebook in Canvas. And if you want to redo it to get a better score, if you missed some of the questions or something like that, you're welcome to redo the Labster simulation. You just have to redo the whole thing um, to get a better score. Um, but you shouldn't have trouble getting at least, you know, in at least 90% um, for, for these Labster simulations if you make it all the way through. Um, but then they don't really have any follow-up questions a lot of the time. And so what I will usually do is have um, sort of a lab quiz after the labster simulation where you will actually have to answer some questions. So there's two pieces to this one this week. There's a lab safety simulation, which you get to by clicking on the lab sim link. And then at the bottom, it says load lab sim one. And depending on your computer, it might take a while to load. You might not be able to be on Zoom at the same time as you're doing this. Um, so def definitely see if it will work for you. If you can't get it to work no matter what, um, you, might have to, you might have to close some other tabs you have open or some other applications you have running. Um, but if it still won't work, let me know. But I think everybody was able to make it work on Monday. Um, so I, you should be able to make it work regardless of if you're on a Chromebook or a Mac or PC or whatever. Um, but if you don't, just let me know and we'll come up with an alternate assignment. If you can't make it work. Um, should only, I think it usually will take about 25 or 30 minutes on this and then maybe 10 minutes to answer the quiz questions at the end. Um, so it should be a short assignment um, just to get used to how all of this is going to work. Um, should get close to 100%. On those two assignments, um, and I think that that's everything that I need to share with you guys. Um, yeah, I. And then, so you you do have a, a checklist for this week, um, and I would definitely use the to do list over on the side. Um, of the canvas shell to make sure you're not missing anything. Um, you can check everything off here. Um, so for this first week, you've got your math review, your lab safety simulation, quiz one, which is the getting to know you quiz, the discussion board. There's a lot of check marks this first week just because I want, they're all simple, easy, quick things to do. Um, but I want to make sure you're familiar with all the technology side and how to do these various things. Um, so definitely for this first week, at least, pay attention to this to-do list. We'll make sure you don't miss anything. And then we'll start getting into um, all the stuff for week two is going to be homework 02, quiz 02. So everything that's from week one and is going to be listed right here. Right. So um, what I'll do at this point is turn you guys loose on the assignments. Um, I'll open some breakout rooms that you guys can use. Um, to work in small groups. Um, if anybody wants to be, I'm the way that uh, breakout rooms work, I, I can let you, I can set it to let participants choose room. Um, but if you don't have the latest version of Zoom, it might not, you might not be able to do that. So if you don't see that option and you want to be in a breakout room, just let me know. Um, and that way you guys can, if you know other people in the class, you can jump into a room and work together. Um, or if you don't mind being interrupted by 
um, by other people asking questions, you can feel free to just, um, you know, turn, turn off your camera and work, do your work just while you're still logged in here. And then if you come into anything you want to need to ask questions, just unmute and ask me a question. All right. So um, with that, I'll turn you guys loose once you're done with those assignments or if you've got a good handle on what you're doing um, and then uh, you don't don't necessarily need to stick around not taking role or anything so just make sure uh, you get all the help you need so that you're going to be able to get these assignments done this week. Cool. Cool, then I'll mute yeah. and then uh, yeah, is there a question. Oh, uh, no, you're saying yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. cool. Then uh, go for it, guys, and uh, I'll be here if you need anything. All right.